You may remember we recently showed you heart-stopping video of San Diego police taking heavy fire during an operation last year. And we were surprised to learn that a crucial piece of life-saving equipment used during that raid wasn't purchased with city funds. We asked News 8 Steve Price to take a closer look in this Your Stories investigation. Steve, what can you tell us? Uh, Marcella and Barbara Lee, the officers who were involved that day, tell us that a shield like this one is what saved their lives. Now, sergeants and SWAT team members have them. They have them thanks to your generous donations. I saw two bright flashes and immediately I retreated back. And as I retreated back, um, the suspect who was still inside his apartment fired nine additional rounds through the drywall. Two of the rounds struck me. You can't move. I thought to myself, you're not gonna die in this hallway. Hey, we got one hit, one hit. Come on, Danny. San Diego police officer Danny Byham shot while responding to a call in Rolando last June. Officer Francisco Roman heroically pulls him away from the doorway, but now they're trapped at the end of the hall. 325, John, we have one officer down. We're barricaded, trapped in the hallway. I have a large shield in my SWAT vehicle. We need several rifles up here in a shield, now. So I requested over the air that the next unit arriving on the scene grab the shield and grab a rifle so we can level the playing field and win the fight. Here's your, here's your shield. And as soon as Francisco got the shield up in front of them, he took a, another volley of gunfire and, and some of the rounds impacted the shield. The shield absolutely saved our life. And, uh, sorry. Yeah, but it uh, it definitely saved us, for sure. Here's a closer look at that shield. You can see where multiple rounds hit it. Surprisingly, this piece of life-saving equipment wasn't purchased with city funds. It was donated through the San Diego Police Foundation. 84% of the budget goes to personnel alone. Kristen Amicone says after salaries, the city's money is needed to pay for day-to-day -day expenses like gas and food for police dogs. And as Director of Education and Technology for the San Diego Police Foundation, she also knows the city moves slowly with its budgets, so getting new state-of-the-art equipment can take years, which is why her organization is proud to say that the public's donations to the foundation saves officers' lives. Right now, what we're focused on are ballistic vests so that officers themselves can be protected. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the San Diego Police Foundation or make a donation, just go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on the hot button. I'm letting you guys hold this yeah. shield. You can see how heavy it is. It's a it good is. 30 pounds or so. It and is. that one officer with his adrenaline that day just swung it right on through the window by himself to get it to those guys and save those two officers' lives. I mean, when you saw the bullet holes in that shield, amazing and so thankful that there are generous San Diegans out yes. there donating to the foundation because as you heard, a lot of their money goes, the city money goes to pay for salaries, it goes to pay right. gas for the vehicles, maintenance for the vehicles, feeding the police dogs. It's this amazing kind of, the yeah. gap that the San Diego Police Foundation makes in helping our officers. And if you can see from behind, they just have this one little That's handle it. right here. Because they're holding it with and one hand. Heavy. We hold yes. it over here, the two of us together. <laughs> the two of us, two <laughs> We're going to have the two of us yes, together hand it back, back to you, Steve. <laughs> Woo, heavy. I want you to fling that around with one hand like an <laughs> yeah. officer can. It's yeah. a workout. Thank it you for, workout. for all of you who've donated. And if you have sure. a story idea you think that we'd be interested in, just send us an email to yourstories at kfmb.com.